one day we were with three full-grown huskies and Henry was completely not phased by the fact that there was three gigantic dogs. Henry just walked right up to all of them and was like, out of the way. <laughs> and he started drinking out of the water bowl too. Hi boys. He's very used to dog behavior, even though he's a cat. Every morning, Henry comes up to everybody and checks on everybody, all of us. He comes up and he starts sniffing and bathing everybody. Shake. Yes. Go get it. Good boy. Come on. He'll just walk up to any dog and to the point where a dog is like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> I worked in an office and outside my window, I was hearing this crying. So I went out there and there was a kitten stuck in a bush. There was no sign of other cats around. So I was trying to figure out what we were gonna do with them. Good boy. We had a dog, Miles. And I figured there's no way we could have a cat with a dog. But we brought him home. And Miles was super calm with him. He was just focused on mothering him. If Henry would start climbing on something, Miles would be concerned, like, get down from there. Within five minutes, Henry was rubbing up on Miles and just felt safe with him. After a couple months, we brought the puppy, Ayla. Henry was so excited and so interested. By the next day, the two of them were chasing each other around the house and wrestling. Henry acts like she's the same size as him. It really seems like there's two puppies from the same litter that grow up together. Miles and Henry, they're like a parent and a kid relationship. Whereas Ayla and Henry, they're like siblings. The three are inseparable. I took Henry to the vet recently, and when I left with him, Miles and Ayla were like, Where are you taking him? Oh, really? When they were together, I was like, This is the most special relationship. A dog and cat cuddling together is not what I was expecting, but I couldn't have asked for a better pack. This is a sweet little family.